Well, hello, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So last week, I did the second round of the Doc Cincy Doc Derby, and uh, well, I didn't turn out as well as I thought it would, but uh, I still had a lot of fun. Uh, what we ended up doing was we went to location 13, and we were fishing for this guy, the Chinese sturgeon. Uh, the rules were, and these were the rules, you had to use rod C and reel C. Uh, so that meant that you uh, couldn't cast out as far as you could. I mean, you could go out about, I believe, Rod C is 150 feet. So um, go ahead and watch the video. See if you can spot my mistakes. Uh, I did have a couple mistakes. And what sucks is, you know, about 15 minutes after it ended, I realized what I could have done to uh, increase my chances. So see if you can figure out what I could have done and comment in the comment section on what you would have done differently to uh, increase your chances. Now I did go in and fish after after the fact and challenged myself and I ended up catching uh, quite a bit more. I, I ended up catching nine. So uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. We'll jump right into it. And enjoy watching my demise. <laughs> so I will be filming the the next one, the finals. That's going to be on June fourth. So I will be uh, recording that one, and I will uh, I will still have a video to to show the finale as well. So um, hopefully you watch that one. I did have a lot of fun, and I hope to do it again. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So are you set? Are you set, Heath? Yep, I'm ready to go. All Whenever right, you guys so when we hit ready. 358, I'll tell you to go, which is right now. Sounds good. You guys All are right. off. Who? Good luck. So are y'all recording on headset or computer? I'm recording on headset. Headset. But he's got a he's got um, a real nice editing software that he uses to make everything nice and neat. I pretty much just upload as is, but I do adjust the settings to get widescreen full high def through side quest. Can you use DaVinci, Heath? Yes. Yep. I use DaVinci Resolve. In the event that you end up tied after 30 minutes, um, it'll be the next person to catch the sturgeon. But during the tiebreaker, you can fish with whatever you would like to fish with. Whatever rod, reel, A, B, C, float, lure, whatever you want if you end up in a tie. Yeah, like so my, the way my headset glitches is like if when I look left or right, it like skews all the images. So if I'm like looking at a rock, I'll see like six of those rocks kind of blur across my screen is what my headset does. Hmm. Yeah, I know when I restarted it earlier, it was terribly glitchy. It was, it was awful. Yeah. Um, and are you using SideQuest to increase it or can you increase it through DaVinci? I'm using SideQuest. SideQuest, huh, I wonder why, wonder why mine gets so bad. And, but the recording is perfect. You don't see the glitchiness in the recording. Right. It's just the gameplay gets really bad. Yeah.
Something's happening. Something's happening? Yeah, it won't. I don't know what's going on. Okay. You good? Yeah, it said multiple people were on, but no one else is. My husband has my son's Oculus, but he said that they weren't playing on it. Okay, I'm good. Okay. I wonder if maybe they, I wonder if that game, maybe if they were, if you hadn't closed it and they just turned the yeah. Oculus on and it came up for just a brief second. And that unfortunately, that message is in there because people were using that to gain advantage on the leaderboard. People would be fishing under the same account on different headsets and getting double. Oh, points. at the same time? Yeah. I think that was the last, the last thing they, the last thing they fixed for people trying to gain advantage on the leaderboard. Um, I can't think of another way that anybody could do anything, but nobody thought about that until somebody else did it. Um, you know, the thing they'll never be able to stop is if you know two people live in the same house and share one headset and just take turns on it. You know, fishing around the clock there's no way to monitor or share that but you know what i've told people is you know what if it's a husband and wife and they share the headset and they take turns fishing and that's just how they fish mm -hmm. yeah they're not trying to gain advantage it's just they you know they only have one headset and you know they take turns fishing so i'll be excited when that new competition mode comes out what's the competition mode so it's coming out later this year. I don't, I'm guessing it's going to be like um, the person who creates the room can set up parameters maybe like, you know, only these fish are available or you have to fish without line color or you have to be fishing on expert and you can set up, you know, you either play to a certain score or play, you know, to a certain time limit, kind of like multiplayer shooting games like Call of Duty where the host gets to set up the rules mm -hmm. and what determines winning and losing. Um, so, and I'm hoping it'll make it, you know, easier to run stuff like this, like my Derby to where, you know, I could just say, you know, here, the, here's the format you're going to, you know, you can fish in groups of four since I wouldn't need to, you know, be in there to monitor and you guys mm -hmm. just self report, you know, you would think that, you know, unless you got four people who are like, okay, you know, we're going to make sure that you know, this person is the one out of this group who advances to make, <laughs> I don't, I don't think you would get four people. Cause one, you know, I would try to randomly assign people, um, but you know, or just, it'll make it, it would make it easy for groups of friends. You know, if you've got, you know, eight or nine of you who regularly fish together, just to organize a little, you know, mini tournament or a Saturday tournament amongst yourselves. Oh yeah. And then, that would know, be nice. Maybe they'll do it to, you know, run some special events or something. Because there are a lot of people who want some type of competition and just don't have the time um, for the leaderboard. We well, did make this hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now they, I, I didn't check this level, um, but I wouldn't think the the um, sturgeon would show up any less on this level. I had them fish on level seven, but the glare's kind of bad on seven, so uh -huh. I brought you guys here just in case um, either one of you might have had some sensitivity to glare. Now you're gonna make me switch to make sure I can catch one. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's, which I, I'm not. Which I it. normally, which I normally do before I have the the groups fish. Let me switch and make sure I didn't screw this up. <laughs> I think I have but, one. Uh, I think she's got one.
Yes. Yep, she's got one. I can see it from here. Out of the corner of your eye, if you're not the person catching it, it can look like a snake head or a snake head. There you it go. does. So one for it's Laura. not a pretty fish. Yeah. I was fishing with Randall this morning because um, he's early like me so we normally fish you know between like 5 and 7 a.m. every morning um, mm -hmm. and we were talking about the next DLC and um, I had an idea um, that I hadn't thought of because I was convinced it was either going to be U.S. South or um, possibly Alaska you know thinking maybe they could have you know photographed Alaska at one point you know flying you know, Easter, easterly from Korea to get to the U.S. Um, what if they had enough extra U.S. West salt water that they photographed, and they're going to maybe do just five, an, an add-on to U.S. West? You know, five salt water levels each with three new epic fish. You know, maybe one more new shark or something. Yeah, because they, you know, all they've said is there's a DLC coming. They've not said it's a full DLC with 20 new levels, 70 new fish, or anything. All they've said is there's going to be a DLC and it's going to be U.S. Hmm. So it could be like a five, um, five levels of salt water add-on, you know, because everybody is like, man, I can't stand the blunt nose, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's all you catch anymore is the blunt nose. Oh god, it's, it's just it's as bad as the leopard shark. It's like everywhere. <laughs> and I love the leopard oh, shark. Yeah. I wish I wish they had a leopard shark that was the size of the blunt nose. That would be a really neat looking shark to catch. Yeah. The leopard shark. And you know, different. ran you know, ran like the amberjack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't stand that fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a lot of people's least favorite fish, the amberjack. It's I think it's I think that the mahi might be my least favorite. I just don't like it. Yeah. Not that it's hard to catch or anything, but, but I think it's an ugly fish and not fun to catch. Oh, know. you got one. Yeah. Yeah, one to one. Slowly getting them up here. There we go. Man, that's <laughs> glitchy. Whew. That was really glitchy. Now, I've not been bumping up my GPU and CPU, and maybe that's why it's so glitchy, because I'm not increasing the graphic and overall computer processing in the headset. And I normally, I normally adjust those up to at least one higher level. Maybe that's why it's so glitchy. But when you, when you bump all that up, um, your battery lasts like 30 minutes when you yeah, adjust the graphics to, up it, yeah. and then the GPU and the CPU you might get a half an hour at best not plugged in yeah I have to plug in well and I'll find even plugged in mine will still lose power slowly when I've got those settings turned all the way up Here, 
fishy, my fishy, headset fishy. Just, my headset just stopped tracking. <laughs> I haven't watched that video of taking the controller apart yet that you yep. um, sent me, Keith. But looking at the inside inside of my battery, it looks like you need um, a special screwdriver that's in the shape of a star, though. Now, if you get a small enough flathead in there, you could probably do it with, like, a flathead that you'd use on a pair of glasses or something. Yeah. But, yeah, maybe if I can take it apart, you know, I might get it all the way back together. Because it works fine. It's just... In pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what happened? I saw you broke your controller. <laughs> I I I have Golf Five E Club, um, and I've got the golf club adapter, but it's only like you know it's a foot and a half long, so you can actually kind of mimic swinging a club. So I took mm -hmm. that apart and fashioned it onto my one of my real golf clubs. Because I wanted to, you know, swing, you know, a full swing. And, mm -hmm. I, you know, I was doing it, and it was working, and it was fun. And then it attached, it attaches, it attached via Velcro, and the Velcro came loose. And my controller slid down my club shaft and whacked the end of my club. Uh, oh, my no. club head and actually flew, ended up flying off. And <laughs> so immediately I, immediately I start panicking like well if my right controller doesn't work I can't tell the game to fish left-handed because you have to have your right controller to tell it to do that um, but I do have it I did have an extra set of controllers because my wife has a headset as well so mm -hmm. I was able to just um, pair her right one for mine the, and the controller works it's just broken the button so it, it the big circle is cracked in half um, and my buttons, when I press the buttons, you know, the trigger and the low trigger, it, they don't spring back like they should, but they're still yeah. functional. So I could, I could, could, I could have went on using it, um, but my fear was, um, you know, I'm winning the leaderboard right now, and what if I can't finish the leaderboard because I yeah. <laughs> destroyed my controller? But everything's fine. But, but you know, it's, it was a very tense, you know, 20 minutes until I. <laughs> figure out everything was going to be okay how are you able to do the leaderboard like how often do you fish <laughs> um i fish about... that little chuckle makes me laugh <laughs> well i'm i'm pretty st pretty strategic about it and i've got it down to where i'm you know catching about 450 points maybe a little more an hour on average oh, so wow. you know i've you know i've you know, got it down to a science. All right, I got so another, another one, one for Lauren. So two to one, Lauren. Um, so I fish maybe seven hours a day, and part of that is in between like phone calls at work. You know, I get up every morning between three and four, so I get you know uh -huh. four hours of fishing in before my work day, um, and then. You know, maybe an hour's worth of fishing, you know, and, you know, throwing out the line when I hang up a call. And as long as I can get a fish on the line, freshwater, you know, as long as the fish is on the line, I don't need my headset. So if a call comes in, you know, I just set my headset down, take the call, finish reeling in the fish while I'm talking to the customer. Um, and then so I get about a, an hour equivalent of that. And then, you know, maybe a couple hours in the evening right after work. which is fine for fresh water, but generally salt water to win, you need to fish more like in the 12 to 14 hour range, depending on your competition. Like this month with Cheyenne and Mandy coming back, 
Um, mm-hmm. They're probably fishing like 16 hours a day, the one and two person and people in salt water. Oh, wow. So you better pack a lunch for 31 days in a row if you want to compete against those two. And they fish together. Um, and I don't know if Cheyenne ever lets Mandy win. I, maybe they take <laughs> turns winning. Because <laughs> they fish together. They're, always, they're, they're almost always in the same room together. Um, and then I guess I... My name, I guess, got into drug into some drama. Because I, I mentioned them coming back and, you know, how ruthless they are at the leaderboard. And I guess somebody's feelings got hurt, one of the people who'd been winning the leaderboard, because I referenced them as kind of being legendary players. And I then, saw that um, post and I had no idea what they were talking about and I figured and then, it's because just I guess not meant for I me. guess they that I guess it's someone who's been winning since they stopped playing and they're like I've got four medals or something like that. I never saw the post. Somebody ended up having to tell me about it. And they they showed the mm-hmm. pictures of their medals and I don't want to break the bad news to them. Mandy and Cheyenne have more medals than their shelf can hold. <laughs> they oh, you wow. can't even see all of their medals. <laughs> I got another one. All right, three to one, Lauren. Kicking my butt. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've got ten minutes. And then one of our rounds, um, Ginger's round where she moved on. Um, I mean, she, she just got eliminated yesterday, but the round she moved on... She was down three fish with um, 10 minutes to go. Um, but neither one of them had figured out the complete coating for the fish. Um, so they were still catching the non-target fish. And then Ginger had figured it out. So she ended up winning by three earlier this week. So she was down three. So she, you know, she went on a six to, six to nothing run the last 10 minutes. I'm trying to remember what that fish was. Ah, it's not far enough. Keep catching the little ones around it. <laughs> so, I can't do, tell. did the other players already play? Um, their section or are yes, we the first yeah. ones? Nope, you're so the um Ginger and Thomas had to do this yesterday. So the mm-hmm. so they fished this exact same fish, same format. So the Chinese sturgeon with rod and real C and Thomas won I think seven to three or seven to four. So wow. Tom Thomas is in the finals and seven? whoever wins here. Yep. I think it was seven to four. I'll post it tonight, their results and your results together. I couldn't post theirs in the format because then you, one of you two might have seen it and then would know what you yeah. were doing today. Um, and then I still I have to come up I've seen with, seven. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, it's more, maybe it's more prevalent on the level the they were on, but as long as it's the same for you two, it doesn't matter. Your round is independent of theirs, right. so... Yeah. And the ones I do find are way past where I need to be, so. Too far. Yeah. Mm hmm. I found one over there. Yeah. Sometimes they're right at the edge, so I'll sit there and waste my time trying to go after them. <laughs> nope, not quite. Got another one. And I wish there was some fair way to um, 
incorporate sharks into the finals, but I mean, the sharks, I know there's a little bit of luck with what we're doing today as far as, you know, seems like Heath might be getting the short end of the stick with their app just out of his reach. But, you know, sharks are really just completely random. There's no way to incorporate that. So the sharks are completely random. It's not a particular yeah. fish or anything. No. Well, they like the they like the medium fish, which is the smallest fish in salt water, more mm -hmm. than um, the large fish. They don't take the huge fish at all. They'll never take what would be like worth twelve points on the leaderboard. They'll never take those. But yeah. Uh, so of the fish they do take, they take the mediums with a higher frequency than the large. And I don't know if they like certain medium fish more than others. I mean, I know they like the spotted sand bass and the kelp bass. That's what I target to catch them. The first time in U.S. West, whenever I was fishing San Francisco and the whale jumped out, I about had a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all have. <laughs> I'll still... Um, if I hit a dry spell when I'm shark fishing, and especially if I'm like listening to an audio book or something while I'm fishing and I'm kind of zoned in on my audio book and just kind of autopilot on the, mm -hmm. on the fishing, I'll have a shark take my line and I'll still jump. Oh yeah, I jump all the time. Just because I'm so into my audio book. So that's four for okay. Lauren. Th Heath, I think you're in trouble, man. Yeah, I just, you can I mean, do I'm it. right on top of one of them right now, and it will not take my bait. Bye, Kyla. And there, well, you and I both know there are definitely some fish that are coded wrong as far as their depth is concerned. Oh, yeah. And I think, I think the, I think the coding is more prevalent being wrong in South Korea because they would have to they would have to have gone back and redone that um, for US West you know all those were new fish I bet the US West color codes are, and depths are correct yeah at least I've never suspected one being incorrect uh, but they're definitely like when I was going back to try to catch the stingray for somebody um, because it, you know it's on the fish finder I was only fishing, and I think they listed as a middle water, and I think it ends up actually being top water. Yeah. So I was only catching middle water fish, and I'm like, well, it's a rare, and I know the color code. How come I'm, how come I can't get this fish to bite? You know, I'm just sitting there, and it's not biting, and that's like me. And then I just move on or whatever, <laughs> and you know, someone's like, oh, it's top water. I'm like, no, it's not. It's it's middle. So I'm, you know, I'm looking at the middle water fish, and I think what I kept, I kept catching the, um, the marlin, because the marlin never turns, um, green either. And I'm like, all I'm catching is the stupid marlin. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone's like, oh, you catch it on top. I'm like, that's not what the game says. And so much for following what the game says, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like when I was doing my original videos on South Korea uh, every t almost every time I'd be like alright so we're going to ignore the depth <laughs> and we're going to just fish on the top <laughs> and, just, and, just, and, and just fish on the top okay. yep. but I've not I don't think I've come across anything in US that I think is coded incorrectly like we now know from Heath and I working together he's working on a video for how to do the leaderboard most efficiently the gold mandarin on 15 is definitely coded wrong. It's coded middle and bottom, and we know for sure it's definitely on top. Yeah. At least it could be it could be top, middle, and bottom, or top bottom. We know it's on the top and the bottom. We we're, we're able to reason that out. So that is that information because water depth when they, I'm trying to think. In the I'm trying to think before the update with the water depths came, if it even distinguished. I think those graphics got added after the update, I think. And then the lure colors, you know, red, green, yellow didn't matter at all back then. Other than it could it would help you identify the fish, but a red fish would take your bait just as fast as a green fish would. 
until the um, update came out. Two minutes. Well, it takes about two minutes to bring this guy in, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're gonna go on to the finals without me. <laughs> now, um, unless you want me to go record it, I'll record it for you. <laughs> well, no, that's what I was gonna say. I don't think they would have a problem if you're in there recording it. Yeah. And I think the finals, I might do an hour because I've, I've not made my mind up exactly what the format's gonna be, and it's not gonna be just one fish, and it's not gonna be just one level. I made my mind up on that. So we're gonna we're definitely gonna be changing levels and we'll be changing fish and so I want at least a week to think about it. I think I have another one. Okay. So this will be Heath's last cast. If I ever see one. If he sees one. He has two. Right, that is time. <laughs> yep, I didn't see another one. Good job. Yep, you beat the VR yeah. fisherman. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it. I mean, a little bit of luck with you know where your sturgeon shows up. Um, I wish my original plan was I wanted you to have to fish. Um, I wanted. But, you know, it, I wanted to make sure that they still, it was still impossible to use freshwater gear in salt water. I wanted you to have to fish salt water with um, freshwater sea level rod and reel. Because yeah. back when you were able to do that, um, that was fun. That was that really hard to reel in some of those big fish. Uh -huh. I mean, it was a challenge for any, even people who were already really, really good at reeling in fish. When you, when you put that freshwater sea gear on in salt water and you got like a marlin or a, you know, a trevally or mahi, yep. those mm -hmm. you really, really, really had to be gentle with. I mean, they'd break your line in the, in the blink of an eye. But they've changed it. You can't do that now, correct? You cannot yeah. do that anymore, correct. Yep. That's what I want. And I just, I double check to make sure because I know if you're like level 12, you can fish salt water now and you used to not be able to do that. You know, but if you have friends fishing saltwater, they do let you fish with the, you know, the sea level saltwater gear. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, I I guess I've never had somebody join me that hasn't been. Yeah. Saltwater level yet. So. Yeah. I yeah, I joined a multiplayer group once, and I was like, "Oh, I've never been here before." Whenever I was. Yeah. So. Still... So when the U.S. West came out is when they changed it, and you had to have. Salt, salt water unlocked. You used to not have to do that ever. You could be level one, and if you joined multiplayer and they were on salt water, you could fish salt water with your freshwater gear. Now, um, then when US West came out, you had to have salt water unlocked and at least own the salt water gear. Now they switched it back because people would com people started complaining. Hey, my friends bought this game to play with me, and now they've I've got to wait, and they've got to wait till they have it unlocked. So then Mirage Soft changed it back that if you haven't got saltwater unlocked, but are multiplayer with somebody who does, then you can use saltwater sea level gear. Oh, so good. All right. Well, thank you both. And congratulations, Lauren. I will get these yeah, results posted sometime this evening. Thank and I'll you. get this video. <laughs> if, I, if I put this on my Google Docs, um, Heath, you can download the file, correct? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So Just yeah, I'll post this to my Google Drive. And I'll send you the link when I get it posted. Cool. All right. Thank All you. Right. Yep. You guys have Thanks, a good night. Guys. You too. Uh -huh. You too. Bye. 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 Well, there you go. Um, so hopefully that was entertaining for you. Uh, did you spot the mistakes that I made? Uh, I'll give up one clue for you. I should have been using the krill. Yep. Instead of the crawfish, I should have been using the krill. It would have been a lot easier to spot. Um, but... You know, I, I promised that I wouldn't use my spreadsheet. Had I used my spreadsheet, I would have known that uh, the krill would be the bait to use. But I didn't want to use my spreadsheet. And I did forget to mention that not only were we supposed to use rod, reel, and uh, rod and reel C, but we also had to bait fish. We couldn't use any lures. 
So, um, yep, that's why I was having to use bait. Else I probably would have thrown a lure on there and uh, tried to catch him with a lure. Um, but, yep, the krill is what I should have used. And uh, I tell you what, I'm going to post another video of me catching the nine after the tournament's over. I don't want to do it right now because I don't want to give up um, some of the tips for the people that are in the tournament. I don't want to mess up their strategies. So I don't want to post anything that will mess up the rest of the tournament. So I will wait till after the tournament is over and I will post a follow-up video on me challenging myself and catching the, the nine that I needed. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video if you liked it and stay tuned for the finale. Like I said, it will be on June 4th. I will be recording that, so I'll probably have it up maybe on the 5th or 6th. So hopefully on the 5th, I'll have it uh, out there for you guys to watch. And then following that, I will have my video of me catching my nine. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.